Number 66. What is the pressure of BRCL in an equilibrium mixture of Cl2, Br2, and BRCL? If the pressure of Cl2 in the mixture is 0.115 atm and the pressure of Br2 in the mixture is 0.450 atm. Okie dokie. So they give me a equation. So I'm going to write it out a little bit bigger because we're going to work with it. So we have Cl2, and that's a gas, plus Br2. That's a gas. And this comes to equilibrium with 2 BrCl, and that's a gas. Beautiful. Let's just make this a little bit more center. And now, let's just write what they gave us. They told us that the pressure of Cl2 was 0 0.115. So here's Cl2. So I'm just going to say that I have 0 0.115 atm here. And they told us that the pressure of Br2 was 0 0.45 atm. So here's the Br2. 0 0.45 atm. Now they're asking for what's the pressure of BRCL at equilibrium. Well, here's the BRCL, so I need to find out what the pressure is. And these are in atm units. Atm, or atmosphere, is a unit of pressure. So basically we just have to find out what the atmospheres are for the BRCL. Now, they did say that we are already at equilibrium. This is an equilibrium mixture. So that means that all of these values, and the one that I'm going to find, is at equilibrium already. This is super important because when we do our, our KP expression, only equilibrium values are allowed. Now, they gave us the KP formula, but we don't have a formula. Per, actually, they gave us a number for the KP, but we don't have a formula. But remember, the generalized formula for Kp is this. It's just the pressure of the products divided by the pressure of the reactants, and they're all raised to the coefficients. So we could make a, a, a specific equation for our balanced equation. So let's see. Kp equals pressure of the products. There's only one of them. So it would be the pressure of the BrCl. And it has to be raised to the coefficients. I do see that I have a 2 in front of here. So I do have to take this pressure and raise it to the second. Now let's do the reactants. I have two of them. So I have, actually, we'll say pressure of the Cl2. And here, there was no number in front. That means that there was just one of them. So you can raise this to the first, but you don't have to. And maybe I'll just put the parentheses in here. And then we have our next reactant. They're being multiplied in the formula, not added together. So I'm going to say the pressure of the Br2. Close that up. And the same thing. There was one of these here. So you can raise it to the first, but you don't have to. Okay. Now let's see what I have. They gave me the Kp formula, or the Kp number. 4.7 times 10 to the negative second. They gave me the pressure of Cl2, 0 0.115. They gave me the pressure of Br2, which is 0 0.45. And it looks like we're just solving for this one. Okay, let's plug it in. 4.7 times 10 to the negative second equals something over something else. Looks like we got x squared divided by the 0 0.115 for the Cl2, and then we're going to multiply it by the 0 0.45. Okay. Now, just for the sake of space on this video, I'm going to cross multiply with multiplying this. So basically, when we cross multiply, it's 4.7 times 10 to the negative 2, so I'll keep that there, times all of this, right? So I can do that all in one shot. If you want, you can, you know, find out the number for this and then cross multiply, but we will get the same answer. So let's see, 4.7 times 10 to the negative 2 times 0.115 times 0.45. And try not to round here because we're not at the, the final answer. So, and maybe I'll just put uh, x squared first, right? x squared equals 
0 0.002 for 3225. Now I want to get x by itself, so it's being squared. So I have to do the square root, that's the inverse of being a square. When you do that, you get rid of that, so you just have x. So maybe I'll put it down here. x, which was the pressure of BRCL, right? We said x was the pressure of BRCL. That's going to be an ATM. So let's see what we get. Square root that. <clears throat> and... Looks like I need three sig figs, so let's see, 0 0.049. Actually, actually, if we're doing the sig fig game, these were three sig figs, but the KP was in two sig figs, so technically you should only have two, uh, but do we really care? No. <laughs> so point, point zero four nine, and there you go. So maybe I'll say 0 0.049. Ooh, 0 0.049, and that's ATM. And there you go. Ooh, that's a little color clashing. So the pressure of BRCL was 0 0.049. How about that, guys? Hope for this help. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Um, yeah, if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you so much for that. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day out there, and keep studying hard, okay? I believe in you guys. Good luck on your tests and quizzes, and I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.